So when it comes to working with disks and volumes, we have a couple of tools that are available to us. Now most of us will initially go to the File Explorer and we'll open up File Explorer and we'll go to our local computer and we'll look at our local drive. And I can open it up and look at the files and folders on my drive or I can right click on the drive and from the context menu I can do a handful of things. The most common one, if you're going to be uh, working with the volume, and remember this is actually not a physical disk, this is a volume or a partition, so we'll go to Properties. And from Properties, we can run our disk cleanup, compress this entire, they say this drive, but think volume here. Uh, we can look at tools that will allow us to do error checking and optimization. Optimization typically happens should happen automatically, but you can run optimization on your own. We can look at hardware, we can look at sharing, sharing the entire volume. More often than not, I tend to share folders rather than entire volumes, but if you want to share the entire volume, you can. Setting disk quotas, looking at previous versions, and looking at security. And again, this is for the entire volume. This is not for a specific file or folder on the volume. Now, this local disk properties is a very convenient way to work with our volume. But there is another way that gives us some more direct access and allows us to do a few other things. It's a disk management snap-in. And you can search for it by typing disk and it takes you to so you've got your disk cleanup. What you want is this one, create and format hard disk partitions. And this is what's actually going to open up disk management. The alternative is to go to computer management. And in computer management, this is a MMC, and we talked about the MMC, the Microsoft Management Console, in another uh, video. This is a predefined MMC that's going to include disk management and a whole bunch of other things that is really useful. So you can get to it either way. Here you get everything plus disk management. If you do a search for disk management or just disk and you go to create and format hard disk partitions, this will open up uh, just the disk management tool. Okay, let's take a look at the disk management tool and stuff that we can do with it. So right here we have all of our volumes. And you see before we had just this, when we were in File Explorer, we just saw the uh, C drive. Well, here we see everything. We see the uh, four different volumes. This one's actually the CD drive. But we see the three different volumes on our hard drive. And down here by disk, we can see the system reserved volume, the C volume, and then the recovery partition. And we'll see that they, we'll see the size of them. We'll see if it's healthy or not, and then in parentheses, this is what's on this partition. So this is the recovery partition. This one is the boot partition. It's got the page file, the crash dump, the primary partition. This one is a system partition. It's active, and it's a primary partition. You'll also see here the layout, whether it's simple or a handful of other things that we'll talk about later. We'll see whether it's, this is a basic or dynamic disk. We'll see what file system it's... Uh, formatted with and then the status and in this status is going to be all of this information right here as well the capacity the free space and the percent free here we have our actual disks and you can right click on a disk and work with several different things so we're going to look at some of these in another video but you've got a couple of options here. You convert it to a dynamic disk. You see right here it says it's, this, is, this is a basic disk. Basic disks can hold simple partitions and that's it. Dynamic disks can hold volumes and then we have access to all of these different options for our volumes. Now we can also convert to a GPT disk. However, your drive has to be empty in order to convert to a GPT disk. Once you have something on it, you can no longer do that. And then you can take it offline, except that this happens to be our system partition, so we can't. If we go to Properties here, you're going to see Properties for the hard disk. So you'll see any policies that are related to it for quick removal or better performance, write caching policy. You'll see Volumes that are on this particular physical drive. Uh, you'll see the driver any details and any events that are related to it. On the volumes you can do the same thing. We can right click, go to properties, 
And this is going to be the same properties window that we looked at in File Manager. It's the exact same thing. This is just a different way to get to it, and it gives you a whole lot more that you can work with, including uh, changing drive letters and paths, shrinking volumes, extending volumes, adding mirrors, and you'll notice some of these are grayed out. They're grayed out because we can't do these because we don't have you know any space to extend a volume to. We could shrink the volume and then re-extend it if we wanted to. We're going to look at that in another video. And if we had additional drives, additional physical drives, then we could add a mirror. We can't delete the volume because, you know, it's our boot volume. Okay, so this is where I do most of my disk management, and I find this to be a very, very useful tool. Now, it's more useful once we can add additional drives to it, and that's when some of those other tools become available. So, that's what we're going to look at in our next video.